Hi, the next thing you want to do after you um, modify your theme or add a new theme is to um, add on some plugins that extend the functionality of the core WordPress uh, installation. And I've got a list here of recommended plugins that you should use. Um, and we're going to go through um, a couple of ways that you can install plugins on your new website. So the first thing we want to do is we want to navigate to that new website. The first and easiest way to install plugins is right through the dashboard. Click on plugins and then click on add new. And one of the plugins that we like, that we recommend, is Akismet. It's an anti-spam plugin that will really cut down on your comment spam. So type in that search term. So then you search plugins. and you find it here you have two options one is details which will tell you more about it um, or you can just install now install now and click on OK then you activate the plugin and then you go to settings and there's one thing here that you need to do and that is um, enter an API key and if you don't have one, go through the steps. Just click on this link right here. Go get your API key. Come back and enter it. So I'm going to paste my API key in here. And it can be the same for every one of your sites. Um, you can check these boxes. I never do. Um, and then click Update Options. and now you're done. If you go back to the plugins dashboard you'll find that there are two plugins here. Um, this one Hello Dolly is a silly one. I always delete it. It does nothing for you. It adds no functionality. It's just kind of an example um, put in by the default WordPress installation. So click yes, delete these files. And now we have a Kismet there. Let's go to our list of recommended plugins and choose all in one SEO pack. This takes us to another way to go get a plugin. This takes us to WordPress.org, which houses all of the free plugins that um, are registered with WordPress.org. And the way you would do this one is you would click on this button right here that says download version. 1.6.13.3 in this case. Click on that, save the file, navigate to the folder, and there it is. You can go back here, add new, upload, navigate to your desktop, where that theme is in a zip file right here and then click install now then activate and it's um, it says it's almost ready it must be configured go to the admin page so let's go there and then let's scroll down and just take a look I enjoy this plugin and have made a donation. You could do that or not. Plugin status enable. In the home title, and, and this is where it's, it becomes really critical, um, these fields right here are the only ones that I use, are the only ones that I modify. I don't modify anything else in here. But it's important that you put in a home title. The title is the most the title of your site is the most important aspect of your site from an 
uh, from a search engine optimization standpoint. Your URL matters. It's nice to have keywords in there. But most importantly, your home title matters. So in my case, for this example, I'm going to type in the ultimate guide to WordPress. And then the home description is something descriptive. This is what's going to appear in search results on Google or Bing or Yahoo or any other search engine um, right beneath your um, title. So for example, if we go to Google and we type in WordPress, right here is the title of the site and this is the dis the meta description of the site this is the URL of the site so this meta description is actually very important in getting people to read it and click through to your link if this meta description doesn't make any sense but this one down here does even though it's ranked number two I may as a search uh, user or visitor I may click on this link rather than this link because it sells me what I'm really trying to find. I hope that makes sense. All right, so you would put something descriptive in here. Everything you want to know about WordPress configuration, installation, I should say installation, configuration, use, backing up, add-ons, etc. And then home keywords. Well, for this one, it would be WordPress. It would be guide to WordPress. And it would be ultimate guide to WordPress. And one more. I usually throw in five. Three, oh, four to five. Um, how to use WordPress. And that's what I'm going to put here. So when you're done, you scroll all, down, all the way down to the bottom and you click Update Options. You'll find that now the title is the Ultimate Guide to WordPress. This title is a little long, the Ultimate Guide to WordPress, how to set up and use WordPress. That, that actually is pretty descriptive, but I actually like the shorter title better, the Ultimate Guide to WordPress. There really is no room for what does this cover? It's the Ultimate Guide to WordPress. So I would, I would say that, I would suggest that you keep it as simple as possible. Um, so that's method number two for installing a plugin. So the third way to install a plugin, just like installing a theme, is to go to your um, file, go to your FTP client, log in, navigate to your plugin folder for your domain, which is always in WP content. There's the plugins, and then just drag. Oops. Navigate to the folder, drag the folder over overwrite because I've already got the plugin installed but if that plugin weren't installed this window would not have popped up. Um, you see that there's about 20 files left. Once that's done we go back to our browser. Um, we can refresh make sure it's all good and it looks good. Let's go take a look. A little slow loading for some reason, but that's okay. Also wanted to let you know that um, in this document if you click any of these links, the link will take you to the page for that plugin in the WordPress.org directory. And this will tell you the reasons why you should be using these plugins. I won't go into all of the reasons, but I've found that these these are really good plugins um, for a core uh, a core WordPress website. For example, I'll just go through them real quick. A Kismet is good for comment spam. All-in-one SEO pack optimizes your your website for um, search engine optimization. 
CBNet ping optimi optimizer um, limits the number of times you ping your update services, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But anytime you make an edit, the update services get pinged, and you can't actually be banned from some of those update services, which is bad for your um, search engine results. Contact Form 7 is a great contact form, uh, allowing people to get a hold of you um, without them having to know your email address. It's just a forms-based thing. Contextual related posts is awesome because at the bottom of every one of your posts, it finds relevant posts in your website that um, that kind of match or, or have similar um, content as this one, which helps your visitor to stay on your website longer and learn more stuff. Easy AdSense is great for um, AdSense, Google AdSense, uh, putting those ads up. Go Codes is a great redirect script for um, affiliate links. Google Analyticator is a great way to easily install Google Analytics on your WordPress website. The sitemap generator generates a sitemap that's compliant with Google Webmaster Tools, um, Yahoo Site Explorer, and Bing Webmaster Tools. Google Cards is new. I'm, I'm the jury's still out on this one, but basically it, it uh, gives you a, a neat way for people to connect with you on Google, the new Google Plus. Permalinks move permanently. Um, if you ever change your permalink structure, which we'll go over in a little bit. Um, this plugin helps uh, direct those old URLs to the new URLs. Uh, the do follow plugin just makes all your um, anytime somebody comments on your site uh, by default WordPress makes those comments um, no follow. This strips that out and makes them do follow which means that more people will comment on your site. Sexy bookmarks is a great way to add a bunch of dif different ways to share um, through social media um, content on your site. Um, the capture for WordPress um, is one more way of reducing comment spam, especially by bots. Um, it puts a little captcha form in there that um, robots have a hard time figuring out. The Facebook like button just puts a like button on your page. And WP Twin we'll talk about in a little bit, um, but it's an awesome premium, it's not free, um, WordPress plugin that allows you to clone your sites so that you can replicate your sites quickly. So this site that's taking us, you know, an hour or two to create, um, we can do in five minutes. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot.